Okay, folks, today we're making some gilbaka curry with our usual uh, potatoes and tomatoes and the mangoes. We add a green seasoning in there. Starting off by adding the green seasoning. And we use extra virgin olive oil. Yep. We have some curry powder, masala, jeera, and turmeric in here. Yep. Shaka masala. <laughs> Cocoa. So we're going to burn that up a little bit there. Our boon tape. What do you call it there? Boon tape. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add You and your step back, my son. You guys all in my here, step back, my stuff here. So you're gonna burn that up, boon jay that pretty good. And then we are gonna start adding the fish in here. We, we actually season our fish, you don't have to season your fish. And marinate it, then we let it in the fridge to thaw out for some time. Yeah. Yep. And we got some head pieces in here. This is fresh gilbaca from Guyana. Um, like I said in the other video, this came a few days ago. We got some nice fresh gilbaca. Wow. Mm. Uh, you can smell that little burn next to it. Too much boring, but you know. I'll add some water in it. Yeah, we're not frying this dill back today. Yeah, it's fine. Um, we're just cooking it fresh. Yeah. But of course, people fry it with butter and uh, butter. <laughs> you know, like a uh, flour, it can fry. It. Mm -hmm. You can fry it if you want. You just choose not to. It's obviously your favorite part of yeah. me. By the way, guys, I love the way the um, the yeah. head tastes. Yeah. So um, I love the back of head. Actually, any fish head I like. 
Yeah. I think I love to eat bones and stuff. Not bones. I don't know if You want to put in potatoes in here? Yeah. You're going to put in a few pieces of potato. Why don't you just cook with green mango? And green mango, of course. You want potato or you just don't we'll want potato? We'll Alright, we're going to decide if we're going to put in potato. Potato. Oh, potato. Alu. Alright guys, um, I'm going to put in this green mango in here now. So we've decided against putting potatoes in this gilbaca, mm -hmm. just green mangoes and tomatoes, yep. as usual. And we're going to add, of course, pepper. This is one habanero pepper. And two tomatoes. Some onion. And of course celery. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And of course, I put in a little bit of thyme in here. Some nice fresh thyme. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna put in too much thyme because I don't want too much of that stew flavor, that thymey flavor. Just wanted to give it that little extra kick. Are you good? Yeah. My love time. Yeah. Ooh, yummy. Smells good, huh? Wonderful. And guys, we got our puppy food going here. As you can see. Yep. Duck. We got spinach. Yeah, some chicken. Some nice pork, beef. Red kidney cabbage, beans. Cabbage. Red kidney beans. Chickpeas. chickpeas otherwise known as chana. Green peas. Green peas. Celery. And we're going to add some rice in here brown rice to cook yeah look at that and add some sweet potatoes at the end look at these guys big pieces yeah and the pork and the beef is at the bottom there yeah some good stuff spinach broccoli yeah. All kinds of goodies in here. They're gonna love it. Mm -hmm. All right, we're back. Cooking this uh, curry gilbaka, gilbaka curry. We're gonna add some more water in here. Nice cook. hot, hot water. Yeah. Guys, um, we've had some comment where people say oh that curry looks too watery or whatever <laughs> don't knock it until you've tried it this curry is not watery it's thick it's the way we like it and that's it yeah add some parsley in here to each his own mm -hmm. you cook how you like it you don't cook to please anyone you yeah. cook to please yourself right babe yeah some black pepper and we're really great cooks, so yeah. keep the negative comments away. And as you can see, um, we have a lot of different style in cooking. Uh, so you add some salt in here. 
good enough. Yep. I'm gonna give it a turn. Yeah, I don't want to turn it up too much. This fish is a little soft. Just dip the gravy in. Yeah. She's coming along nicely there. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Yeah, yummy, yummy. Sweet and delicious. Nice, nice. Oh, my favorite fish. I know. And is the fish head too, right yeah. there? Uh, yeah. And let's check this guy out here. We just add rice in here. Look at the goodness there. Yeah, dog food. Yeah, or a puppy. We cook for a puppy at least once a week. Yeah. Or every other week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at the goodness. And their mouth sweet, oh my god. Mm -hmm. If you try to give them some kibbles, they don't even want it. They wait for the food. Yeah. But they eat. Yeah, look. But Max, the boy, he's not picky at all. He eats whatever we give him. But the girl, Coco, oh my lord. She is Miss she Queenie want, Coco. She want good stuff. Yeah. She's like, bring that cook food for me. Yeah. We gotta stop learning them now. It's okay. It's gonna boil and it's gonna break up when yeah. it's completely boiled now. Yeah. The, the, I'm trying to just break the chicken, up um, it's... The flesh is gonna fall off the bone. Yeah, the flesh is gonna fall off of this bone here. I just add the rice, so it's still cooking. Mm -hmm. It's a lot, of some ways to go. Okay. This is coming along really nice. And delicious. I think I'll break I'll break up one of these mango. I like the curry to be a little sour. Especially we didn't fry the fish. Roti too, are you gonna eat roti? Uh, I want some rice. Rice too? Uh, I'll eat it. Maybe tomorrow, tomorrow for yep. lunch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we Alright guys, uh, put in the tree, big nice bird pepper in there. I let it soak in there. And curry is done. Hey babe, yep. you taste it already and stuff? You got Rainy salt. Bunny done. <laughs> you got nice salt, pepper. Sweet mango. Sweet mango. Yeah. And the right amount of spiciness. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you didn't subscribe to the channel, please do so. Like and share and comment. One love. Peace out.